Hey Julian Kraus here and I want to show you an interesting way of enhancing the noise performance of your Zoom F4 or F8. To understand how this works I shortly have to cover some basics first. When you have two audio signals they can be correlated or uncorrelated, well or anything really in between. The amount of correlation essentially describes the similarity of two signals. Imagine two signals laying on top of each other. The closer they match, the more correlation exists between these two signals. So when speaking of correlated signals, I'm talking about two signals that are essentially identical. And when I'm talking about uncorrelated signals, I mean two signals that do not have any similarities. A typical example for this would be two random noise sources. And here is the part that makes this whole trick work. When you add together two correlated signals with the same amplitude, they add up to a signal which is 6 decibels higher than each of the individual signals. But when you add together two uncorrelated signals with the same amplitude, they will only produce a combined signal which is 3 decibels higher than the individual signals. This principle can be exploited to lower the noise law of the Zoom F4 and F8. All you got to do is to activate the dual channel recording and then set your gain on both channels to an equal amount. This way your signal is going to be recorded twice through two separate preamps and A to D converters. Your signal going into the recorder will be identical for both recordings. So here we have our correlated signals. But the noise in both files created by the preamps and A to D converter are going to be uncorrelated because the noise is random and thus different in both recordings. Now when you add together both recordings in post, your recorded signal will get increased by 6 decibels, but the noise created by the recorder will only increase by 3 decibels. This way you essentially enhance the signal to noise performance of your Zoom F4 or F8 by 3 decibels. And to show you that this works in practice, I made a small test with the Zoom F4. First I recorded a sine wave with the dual channel recording enabled and the gain set on both channels to an equal amount. And after that I also recorded the noise created by the Zoom F4. This is the recording of the sine wave and when I scan this you can see that the amplitude of these individual tracks are at minus 15 dB RMS. When I add these two together and scan this again you can see that my signal is now 6 decibels higher than before. And here is the recorded noise of the F4. Now the individual tracks come in at about minus 73 dB. This time when I add them together they create a signal which is only 3 decibels higher. Before you rush out and only record everything like this from now on, I have to tell you that this trick sadly is not as useful as it seems. Because the noise floor of the Zoom F4 and F8 is already very low, you are typically going to be limited by the noise performance of your mic or your ambience. Keep in mind that this method can only reduce the noise created by the recorder itself. If your noise performance is limited by any other part in your signal chain, you are not going to get any benefits by using this method. So in the end I have to confess that even though this method is completely valid to lower the noise floor of the Zoom F4 or F8 by 3 decibels, you will hardly find any scenario where this will make a significant difference. Nonetheless, I hope you found this interesting and I see you in the next one.